And this family is not sure exactly how this law will affect cases that are currently going through the court system, but they are worried that the person who killed their loved one might not get the sentence that they think he deserves. Dan Middleton says not a day goes by that he doesn't think of his eight-year-old granddaughter, Maddie. She was um, very vibrant in questioning and talkative. Chatty Maddie was her name. <laughs> Prosecutors say three years ago, a 15-year-old neighbor lured Maddie into a Santa Cruz apartment, then sexually assaulted and killed her. Middleton says he couldn't believe that someone so young could be responsible. He was actually a, an acquaintance, I might say, almost a friend of hers. Um, so, so it's hard. After a nine week hearing last year, a judge ruled that Adrian Gonzalez would be tried as an adult given the seriousness of the crimes. We had experts on, on the stand that um, said that he has all the indications of a psychopathic, violent, sexual, deviant predator. But this weekend, Governor Brown signed a bill preventing anyone under the age of 16 from being tried as an adult. Supporters of SB 1391 say juveniles should have the chance to be rehabilitated. For a person who's 15, when he does a crime, no matter how bad it is, he ought first to go get the treatment and therapy available through the juvenile system rather than being locked up for 50 years to life with a bunch of adults. Middleton disagrees. But I, I feel sorry for kids that that have problems getting into trouble, um, but up to a certain point. He says there are some people like Gonzalez who are just too dangerous to be let out when they're 25 years old. That's why he says he'll work with families of other victims and push for this new law to be amended or repealed. We, we want to protect our communities, whether it's from this, this fellow or, or anybody else. Now, in addition to the Middleton family fighting this law, they've also started an organization in Maddie's honor to try to prevent child abduction and violence. They say they don't want any families to have to suffer the way that they are. Live in Rancho Cucamonga, Tina Patel, CBS2 News.